All right, welcome everybody. So the question is, should you turn off the fast startup on Windows 10 and 11? After doing some research and after hearing different opinions from different people, I think mostly, yes, you should turn it off. So fast startup is a feature that comes pre-enabled on Windows 10 and 11. So you don't have to enable it, but if you want to disable it, you can disable it. So I'm going to try my best to explain you guys why I have this turned off for me. Okay. And who can keep this turned on? Okay. So basically, this makes your PC boot faster if this option is enabled. By default, it is enabled. You don't have to enable it. But why do I have it disabled? Okay, first of all, this is a PC, desktop PC. This is not a laptop and I have a SSD. So if you have a SSD, turning it off or on, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. The boot time is almost the same so you can see if i go to startup my boot time is 9.7 i don't have the fast boot turned on boot time recorded here but as far as i remember the boot time was same without fast startup or with the fast startup i see the same results because it's an SSD okay so if you have a SSD yes you should turn it off or you can turn it off it doesn't make any you know huge difference and second what does it do okay so it makes your PC boot faster that's a common thing we can simply understand but how does it make your PC boot faster so you know actually when you turn off your computer when the fast startup is enabled basically you're not turning off your computer completely your computer is somewhat of in a weak situation there are some windows drivers and some settings or whatever always running on your disk or ssd okay so which means it's kind of a hibernation or sleep mode. You know, when you use the hibernate option on your PC, basically this option will turn off your computer, but it will keep all the memory, all the processes onto your uh, RAM. So it will boot really, really fast. So it's not basically turned off, it's hibernated, okay? So simply it's the next level of hibernation. The first startup is next level of hibernation, which is a little bit slower than hibernate option actually, uh, but it is faster than completely turning off the computer. So that's that. So basically, <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is that if you turn off your computer when the first startup is turned on, your computer is not turned off. That's all you need to know. Okay. So there are some drivers, Windows kernel maybe, uh, you know, running on your disk or saved or sleeping on your disk or RAM. Okay. So which makes your computer boot faster okay so why i have it turned off because i have an ssd plus it's a desktop i lose the power all the time the electricity so yeah it's best for me to you know just turn it off so my computer can sleep well and it is properly shut down yeah that's the only reason i have it turned off okay so what about the laptop i think uh, for the laptop fast startup is the best because your laptop will never die without power there will always be a power on laptops battery okay so you will never lose power and yeah for the laptop i think this is no big deal you can turn it on off but if you have a ssd you know it doesn't make any you know huge difference that's what i learned from the internet okay and i i can see the result myself i'm using a ssd so first startup doesn't make any difference at least for me okay I, even if it does there are a couple of seconds difference 
that's all okay so now one of the biggest reason why you should turn off the fast starter that is if you do dual booting like you dual boot windows 10 linux and windows 11 whatever if you're doing a dual boot or triple boot on your system you should keep it turned off so as i explained to you guys your computer is never turned off if you turn on the fast startup so when you want to switch to the another operating system if you are doing a dual boot or triple boot then it might affect the windows 10 or 11 disk or drivers or it won't even boot that could happen because it's not completely shut down there are some memories there are some processes still alive on your disk or ram so make sure that you have it turned off so you know that after turning this off your windows 10 or 11 will completely shut down and you can switch to the another operating system if you're doing a dual boot triple boot without any problem so that's that okay <laughs> i i tried my best to explain you guys what it is okay uh so yeah basically it's a option which is a feature comes pre-enabled uh, but uh, if you do dual booting that is no no you should turn it off if you do the dual boot triple boot or whatever or you do upgrade you know let's say uh, you want to upgrade your ssd or something and you turn off your computer when the fast boot was enabled that might cause some problem okay <laughs> that's that i think this option is really good for uh, laptops only I don't see any problems other than doing a dual boot, okay? Uh, if you do dual boot on, even on a laptop, I think uh, it's still safe to disable this option. So now I forgot to tell you guys how to access that fast startup option, okay? If you want to turn it off, uh, go to control panel and after that go to hardware and sound and after that go to op power options okay and after that you need to click on choose what the power buttons do click on that and after that uh, you will see this and here you need to click on change settings that are currently unavailable click on that which will enable these shutdown settings and from here you can turn it on or off and i have it off because i like it off because i want my windows 10 or 11 to be shut down completely okay so that's that now i'm gonna leave you guys in peace uh, and uh, one last thing uh, try it okay if you have ssd turn off the fast startup okay and then see the boot time on your task manager i'm sure that it will be almost the same time okay so yeah that's it <laughs> hope you enjoyed it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye